Hi, and welcome back to another edition of Easy Theory. We're going to look at this question today, which comes from the Sipser textbook, which is, we have two languages here, A and B, and we want to figure out whether A avoids B. So what is that? That's all the strings that are in A, the first language, and that string itself does not have any string in B as a substring. So that's not quite the same thing as for example, it's not the same thing as a set minus b or something. So this is not right because it's not saying that a doesn't have any string in b. It's, the, it's a stronger condition that no string in a can have any substring of it as something in b. So let's actually try to think about this in a slightly different way. Well, what does it mean that a string in A has any string in B as a substring. Well, how can we actually classify what the strings in B, or any string for that matter, that contains something in B as a substring? So this part right here, so any string in B as a substring, we can actually represent that as sigma star B sigma star because that's all the strings that have something in B as a substring. Well, what does it mean that A does not, does not have any string as a substring? Well, it's the same thing as everything in A take away all of the strings in A that have something as a substring. So what does it mean to have that it does have something as a substring? Well, that's just saying A intersection this thing. So this part right here is everything in A that does have something in B as a substring because we're doing intersection here. And how do we get the final bit where it does not have uh, any string in B? Well, we still have to have all the strings in A that don't, that do not fulfill this property. So this would be A set minus this thing. So is everything in A take away all of the strings that have something, um, that have some substring in, as being a string in B. So everything in A that does have something in B as a substring. And why, why would we want to phrase it this way? Well, the problem that we're trying to solve here is if A and B are regular, show that A avoids B is also regular. So why is this regular? Well, what we can do here is we can say, well, sigma star B sigma star, well, that is regular because you can make an NFA for this pretty easily, and we'll do this as an example. Well, assuming that this part is regular, well, A itself is regular by assumption. So A intersections something that is regular by the product construction, and we know regular languages are closed under intersection. So this part is regular, the part in the red. What about the part in the orange? Well, what we can do is we can rephrase the set minus to be um, intersection with complement. So what we can do here is we can take A intersection this whole thing complement. Well, we know the stuff in the red is regular. So if we complemented it, then the complement part is regular because regular languages are closed under complement. And now we have A again, which is regular, intersection, something that is regular. And so again, we have closure under intersection and therefore this whole thing is regular. And then therefore what we can conclude is that if A and B are regular, then that means that A avoids B is regular. So I hope that was interesting. Leave a comment down below if you were able to find it out a different way. As always, please like and subscribe to the channel. It really helps us out, and commenting really helps as well. And as always, I'll see you next time.